Merry Christmas, everyone, and thank you for joining us and for just taking the time out from the rush of day to be with us to celebrate Christmas. And I thank Sleepless Bob for making this possible and Lynn for her Christmas music. You know, it's just a delight to have them with us, and I hope that your Christmas may be a joyous one. <clears throat> Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of the world. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith, which illumines our minds, may also shine through in our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth, Say to daughter Zion, your Savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called frequented, a city that is not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. The light will shine on us this day. The Lord, the Lord is born for us. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope 
of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Luke. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. And so they went in haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the infant lying in the manger. And when they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Again, a blessed Christmas to all of you, and I hope it's just filled with the warmth of Christ and knowing you know, that Christ lives among us. And he never, ever leaves. You know, it's not a thing where he's here at moments at his convenience, but he is always with us. There's a story of a family that was vacationing by a lake and the father was puttering around in the boathouse and the 12 year old son and the three year old son were down on the dock and the three year old son saw the shiny boat and he decided that he wanted to go and take a closer look at it and maybe inspect it see what it was all about so he went down <clears throat> and he put one foot on the boat and had one foot on the dock and then he lost his balance and flipped into the water, about six feet of water, and disappeared. And of course, the 12-year-old screamed, you know, at what was happening. And his dad came running and jumped into the water and went down. But the, the water was so murky and dark even though it was only six feet, that he couldn't find the three-year-old named Billy. And so he came up for air, and then he went down again, and he started feeling around to see if he could find Billy. And he did find Billy. Billy had his arms locked around a post that supported the dock, and he was about four feet under the water. Well, the dad pried his hands loose, and they both sprang up to the surface, you know, gasping for air, you know, with which to live. And when things calmed down, the dad said to three-year-old Billy, Billy, why did you do that? Why did you grab that post? And Billy said, with a lot of wisdom, I was waiting for you, Dad. I was waiting for you. When we think of Christmas, we could think of how we waited for Christ to come. We waited for him, we waited for him, we waited for him. And then, you know, 2,000 years ago, you know, all of a sudden, Christ left. You know, that place that was filled with joy, that place that was filled with happiness, the place that was filled with beauty. You know, and he plunged into the earth and around the world, you know, seeking a mission that was a mission of rescue. And he was there, you know, to rescue people who were drowning in sin, you know, and in misery. And he was there to re on a rescue mission 
for those who had lost their way. And he was there on a rescue mission for those who were just hanging on. You know, it was a rescue mission you know, that would save the world. And we could think of how it came about. We could think of that baby Jesus lying in that feeding trough. We could think of the uh, baby Jesus you know, who was born to two peasants. And we can think of that baby who was born in the stench of a barn. But it's that Jesus who became flesh, that God who became flesh. And we have that saying, Emmanuel, God is with us. When we think of those shepherds in that gospel that we read today, we can think of how when something happens, you know, that's exciting, you know, we don't just sit around. You know, we go out and proclaim it to the world. And that's what the shepherds did. You know, when the angels first appeared, they didn't just sit there and say, well, that's nice, you know, to have angels appear. And they got up and ran to, the, to where Christ was. And after they had been with Christ, you know, once again, they came back, you know, and they said, I'm sure, you know, we have seen the Christ. We have seen the new king of the universe. But again, they didn't just say, well, that's fine. Let's sit down. No, you know, it was something that they spread the word. And when we think of ourselves, you know, that same message is there for us. You know, that we are to be people that are filled with excitement at Christmas. We are to be people that are filled with enthusiasm at Christmas. Why? Because, you know, at Christmas, we are invited to meet Jesus. And when we're invited to meet Jesus, nothing is ever the same. Because when we meet Jesus, we meet God. And so it's a thing that here at Christmas, we should go out and we should, first of all, sing with enthusiasm, but secondly, spread the message. The Lord has come. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, in life everlasting, amen. <clears throat>
fellow Christians, pray that the gifts and the Mass that we offer may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our offerings be worthy, we pray, O Lord, of the mysteries of the Nativity this day, that just as Christ was born a man and also shone forth as God, so these earthly gifts may confer on us what is divine through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Donald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters 
who had fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you guys. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. 
Grant us, Lord, as we honor with joyful devotion the nativity of your Son, that we may come to know with fullness of faith the hidden depths of this mystery and to love them ever more and more through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.